It is the fastest growing tool in the history of humanity. No tool has ever been used faster than this particular tool. And it's for a reason, ChatGPT. Microsoft actually invested a billion dollars on ChatGPT in November of 2022. Early 2023, they gave it another $10 billion. I used it to generate more business. A lot of people are using it just to have fun, like my son, just to get some ideas on jokes and things like that, right? I'm using it for business purposes. I wanna prove a point, I wanna generate more attention, I wanna grow my revenue, I wanna expand, I wanna service more people. ChatGPT, it's a computer program designed to understand and generate human-like text. It is the fastest growing tool in the history of humanity. No tool has ever been used faster than this particular tool. And it's for a reason, right? They had somewhere around a million users in the first five days since the launch of the tool. So it's this power generator that is able to convert this information that you're giving it into things that you can use. That's GPT, Generative Pre-trained Transformer, chat. GPT. The generative aspect means that the model can generate text based on the input it receives and pre-train means that the model has been trained on a large data set before being deployed for tasks like chat-based conversations. Transformer part refers to the specific neural network architecture used in the model. The name chat GPT reflects the model's ability to engage in interactive conversations and provide responses based on the input it receives. And that's the very cool things about it because the word that we use is conversational. Don't switch the subject. If you look at my subjects over here, which I highly recommend that you upgrade to the $20 a month plan. If you have a free one, it's free, but upgrade because it's gonna give you more speed, it's gonna give you more data, it's gonna be faster in general. So you have conversations. All of these are separate conversations. And one of the things that I'll tell you as a very important practice when using ChatGPT is to never mix the conversations because it doesn't matter if you start the conversation today or you started 17 days ago, the tool continues the conversation with you. And you're gonna have a long combo about that subject and keep on getting better and better in that subject. My 12 year old son is obsessed with ChatGPT right now. Actually, some of these searches, he broke into mine because I have the paid version and he was limited to his searches on the free one. He couldn't use GPT-4 and he wanted GPT-4. This is a 12 year old, all right? We had a discussion at the house because for me, seeing him so active in the tool, it was such a proud moment. And my wife was like, oh, don't teach him how to cheat in school, how to do this, how to do that. And I'm like, it's such a proud moment. It is. I'm so happy that he's using it. I told him to stop breaking into my chat GPT. He'll keep on breaking into it. For example, check out some of his searches over here. Funny jokes. He made a table of the funniest jokes. There's fun and there's practicality to it, right? But anyways, let me show you another one of his cool searches. Some of the hilarious ones. Should I call an ambulance because it looks like you fell out of heaven? And it says, as an AI language model, I'm not capable of falling out of anywhere as I exist only in digital realm. However, if you or someone you know is in need of medical attention, it is always better to earn the sight of caution and call for an ambulance or seek medical help immediately. It is important to prioritize safety and health in any situation that may require it. So you get the idea of the power of the tool, right? It's gonna change the game to a large extent. Okay, so it can understand and respond to text-based messages and can provide information answer questions and engage in casual conversation. It also does time to continue to learn from the interactions so it gets better with time. It has with people making it more intelligent and effective over time. That's why one of the major recommendations is to never have a conversation of a different subject in the same particular chat. Open up a new one. There's a button that you see on the top left that says new chat. Whenever you wanna talk about a different subject, click on that button that says new chat. All right, very important to keep that history there. Microsoft actually invested a billion dollars on ChatGPT in November of 2022. Early 2023, they gave it another $10 billion. So now, for example, when you go to Microsoft's browser called Edge, it's now really using ChatGPT for search. That's basically what's happening on it at this point. They went super deep into the use of this particular tool for their browsing. That's where Google felt a threat and they started working on their own things to try to compensate some of the attention that was being taken on these other platforms. The history of ChatGPT begins with a nonprofit organization in which Elon Musk invested in because he wanted to start figuring out how to use technology, artificial intelligence, to be able to actually get 
help to society and the world and improve things. And it converted into a for-profit company. And that's when he backed out of it. And then other investors came in and they became a whole business. At some point, they might just turn this whole thing that looks like a clean platform for you to do your searches into a place for people to advertise. Like Facebook does, like Google did, like YouTube has done for a long time. They're an advertising monster. That's what sustains. Facebook is going to be free for life. Well, yes, for us, because we are the products of Facebook. We are what Facebook uses to determine how much they charge for their advertising. You might not realize that, but like Natural Sim has products that we sell. We are the product itself. So they don't have to sell us anything. It doesn't make any sense. So at some point, ChatGPT will use that with the users, right? Figure out how to make more money with it. I used it to generate more business. A lot of people are using it just to have fun, like my son, just to get some ideas on jokes and things like that, right? I'm using it for business purposes. I wanna prove a point. I wanna generate more attention. I wanna grow my revenue. I wanna expand. I wanna service more people.